Brooklyn Bishop Lamore Whitehead was arrested and later released after grabbing a woman in a pretty violent way during a live stream of his service. Let's watch the video and then I'll explain what happened. Now they take pictures and they want to be on social media. Take the pictures, take the pictures, take the pictures, take the pictures, take the pictures. He says, press whatever charge you want. Uh, we'll see if she does pursue some civil litigation against him. But here's what allegedly happened behind the scenes. You can hear him saying, take the picture several times. It appears that he was offended by the fact that two women came into the service late. And then according to him, proceeded to take selfies, probably for social media. And uh, he called them out. But what's really interesting is while he got arrested, the woman he grabbed viciously by the neck got arrested. She ended up facing charges. He alleges that he was let go after spending some time in a jail cell. He alleges that they never charged him with anything. Whitehead was preaching at the Leaders of Tomorrow International Ministries when two women interrupted his service, according to Mediaite. The bishop was speaking on stage when he appeared to refer to the women by saying, while they take pictures and want to be on social media. Now, police allege that the reason why the woman, her name is Tarsha Howard, was charged with trespassing and disrupting a religious service is because she approached him in an antagonizing manner. That is what the police are saying. Now, I don't know, it seemed like she was walking out of the church and as she was walking away from him, he grabbed her by the neck. That is what I saw, that was my perspective. I could be wrong, but I am curious to hear what you think, Cenk. So I'm a little split on this. So the guy gets robbed at gunpoint earlier. We're gonna show you that video in a little bit. And so I get that he's jittery about people coming to his church. And they happen the same exact way, the live stream at the church, right? So he wants to protect his own, I get it, right? On the other hand, he kept saying, come take the picture, come take the picture. She starts walking up and then he grabs her by the neck and pushes her. I don't know, it didn't seem that necessary. And it seemed like it was overreacting to the fact that probably people made fun of him for acting pretty you know, soft the last time. And I don't blame him and I don't agree that he was soft. Gunman comes, they got a gun, they could kill you, right? Uh, but don't take it out on other people. I mean, I, I would never grab a woman by the neck and push her like that. So he got arrested and then he was super mad that he got arrested. And and then he was let go two hours later, and he thinks the cops were outrageous, etc. Um, but you told her to press charges, and she did. So and I don't. There's no way to know based on the flimsy articles that I've read as to like who's really at fault. Mm-hmm. Um, did they come in to barge into the live stream? In which case, you should uh, do trespassing charges on them, right? And and because everybody's trying to get famous, Anna. They're trying to get famous, he's trying to get famous. Every time somebody interrupts the live stream, he gets more famous. Is that is that why he did it? Who knows? Yeah, look, we don't have a concrete answer on that. And I wanna be clear that we don't have a concrete answer. And so we're basing our opinions on, on a little bit of speculation. The only thing that we have that's concrete is what we see on camera. And from what I saw on camera, yeah, she walked toward him, but she was also walking away from him when he decided to grab her from the back of the neck. And I just, look, this is my my take on these types of conflicts, okay? Um, Don't put your hands on people. I don't think that's so difficult. Don't put your hands on anyone. Now, if she had approached him and tried punching him or tried to harm him physically and he he needed to do something to defend himself, then we're having a different conversation. But based on the video that I saw, that everyone saw, it did not appear that she struck him. It did not appear that she was approaching him in a menacing way to hurt him. It seemed like she walked close to him and then walked away. And as she was walking away, he put his hands on her. So, and it yeah. also seemed like he was like, 
I, it's funny, you say, oh, people think he's soft because of the way he handled being robbed at gunpoint. I don't, I don't, I don't know how true that is. I think he comes off as soft when he gets all hurt over people who enter the building a little late and then proceed to take photos. Sure, I'm I'm sure that that's annoying. I'm sure that you would probably want them to leave. You can ask them nicely to leave, but that's not what I gathered from that interaction. I gathered that he took it personally, he got angry, he called them out, and then it needlessly escalated from there. I could be wrong, other things could be reported after we talk about this story. And I'm happy to change my opinion if there's new evidence to, to show what happened. But based on what I've read, based on what I've seen, I just, you, there's no excuse for putting your hands on, on that woman like that. Yeah, uh, no, that's it, uh, jury's coming. Uh, so first, let's just get the, uh, you know, the standard stuff out of the way. It's not an actual jury. And if I was on the jury, I would hear all of the evidence and then I would make up my mind. Based on the what we see so far, nah, he was, he's wrong. Uh, look, Roar Bear Dragon on Twitch says, Pastor was acting a fool and antagonizing them. And the reality is, yeah, he was. Don't come tell them to come up and then push them when they come up, right? So don't say anybody can come to your church and then when somebody comes to your church and take a picture, get all emotional, right? So my guess is that he's probably given a decent amount to the cops. Uh, to so that he could get released in two hours in situations like this. Uh, the guy's got tons of flashy, I mean, think about it. I mean, well, look, part of it was Anna's points, part of it is the points that the members are making. And part of it is, I remembered this guy's a pastor who's got all this flashy jewelry and demands more uh, wealth for himself from his uh, congregation. So overall, he can kiss my ass. Uh, so now let me show you when he was getting robbed. And when it's not defenseless woman, how he acted instead. Let's look at that video. Yo, yo, all right, 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 all right, right, yo, all right, all right. Everybody, nobody move. Everybody, 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 Wait, let me just say real quick before you jump in, Jink. That is the way you should behave if you're confronted with armed robbers. <laughs> yes, but you you, sh you shouldn't let it get into your head, and then take it out on someone else, a woman. You know, however many months later, so mm -hmm. let it go. It wasn't your fault. They they robbed you. They shouldn't have robbed you. Uh, and it doesn't matter that you had. I mean, the original reports was that. They stole a million dollars off of him because that's how much jewelry he had. He says it wasn't that much. Okay, call it 400,000, okay? Well, you're wearing that kind of jewelry around like a jackass and you basically took it from your congregation who can't afford it. Uh, nobody, no congregation can afford that. But you told them that Jesus will like him more if you, they give you more jewelry. So my uh, sympathy for this guy has gone down to around 0%. Same. Same, we got there in different methods, different ways, different avenues, but same. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges, you've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.